Freddy here, welcome back to the Gear Obsession channel. In this episode, we'll be taking a look at the OBS 25mm RTA. Yes, I know it wasn't in focus. There we go. How's that? Is that better? Now I'm out of focus. <laughs> so, what is this tank and why is it special? Well, this is a Velocity Style RTA with 5.2 milliliters of capacity. It has adjustable top airflow and it has a side fill. Where is it? There's the whole side filling. I will never at this point review another RTA that does not have top airflow. It has to have top airflow because no matter what I do, eventually anything with bottom airflow will leak. I mean if you're constantly using them and you know you're just sticking to one, it doesn't leak. But if you let one of these sit around for a while, eventually they will leak out of the bottom. That's why I will no longer review anything with bottom airflow. It has to have top airflow. And that's why I'm reviewing this guy. <laughs> so it has top juice, or sort of side top juice, uh, fill port, top adjustable airflow. It's uh, available in this black version with a little bit of silver engraving and it also is available in a all silver. Now here's what's really amazing because this seems to be pretty high quality and we're going to go ahead and uh, share the out of box experience here. 25 bucks, 304 stainless steel, quartz glass tank, 25 bucks or less or less right now at the time of me videotaping it's on sale I don't know if it's gonna still be on sale at GearBest who sent me this for a review by the way but will know influ will not influence my review in any way but right now they're selling it for $19.99 so I'm gonna go ahead and put a link in the description box below it's like right down there you can click on it and see what price it's going for at the time that you are viewing this video so let's go ahead and put this aside and take a look at the box and what comes in it. Here is the box. I'll let you freeze frame that if you'd like to read it. It has the original or authentic authenticating scratch and sniff sticker there so you can make sure it is authentic and original, which is what gear best states. And it appears to be so. We'll go ahead and open this up. This came sort of tucked away right there an extra quartz glass tank we get ourselves the screwdriver this appears to be a hex screwdriver not the all familiar Phillips screwdriver get some styrofoam what else do we get? Ooh. get a little instruction book with some really good directions by the way um, I didn't know this until now I'm looking this is a POM a palm drip tip bore style um, normal 510 drip tip right here tell you what let's just go ahead and pull this off because I do want to show you that it does have two o-rings that's very important to me because that means it's going to stay in there tight and it's not going to rock that's another big plus that's something that I like um, all my tanks to have. Uh, I wish uh, it was mandatory. So what else do we get here? Let's take a look. Ooh, lots of goodies. Lots of goodies. You got some organic Japanese cotton for some wicking material, which we are going to use so we could share the out of box experience here. It looks like we got some twisted canthal that we'll go ahead and use. Uh, some coils, two of them. We have some extra grub nuts in there, and we got a plethora of extra O-rings. So let's push this all aside and go back to the tank. You have the 510 uh, threads right here. And you can see this sticks out. The, the, the pin here just sticks out just a little bit, so that's good. We already showed off the drip tip. Let's take a look. For the airflow, you have three holes, and they all equally will close and open. 
and again to fill you just pull this up fill it push it down and then to get to the build deck to build you just unscrew the bottom so we'll go ahead and do that and it looks like we have a velocity style deck these holes the terminal holes for the coils are two millimeters and you have some hex grub nuts which is why they gave us this uh, grub nut screwdriver which I have now lost <laughs> here we go so what I'm gonna go ahead and do is go ahead and build it with the included uh, wicking material and the coil so we could get the out-of-the-box experience um, I don't want to sort of deviate from what they have provided but um, very nice build deck. I mean, this thing uh, is, according to my notes here, a 17 millimeter build deck. You can see they give you some very nice large holes to tuck your wick down. I'm going to hopefully cut my wicks down enough so they could just lightly touch the bottom because your juice will basically... Um, fill all around here come down because this is the your, your chimney and the airflow goes up and it will come down here and go underneath the build deck and then wick up through these very four large holes to your coils let's take a look inside here real quick you could see you have um, airflow holes that you're gonna be sucking air into these holes and what's really neat what I, what I just noticed is you have these two tabs so it sort of makes the base line up with these holes so what essentially happens is when you when you put this on you have two notches one right here I don't know if you can see that and you have one on the other side so when you put this together the chimney will line up in such a way that your coils will be right below these intake airflow holes because your air is coming in through the top adjustable coming into the chamber through these two holes right over your coils and wick and then going up the tube and into your mouth so that's how this all works and supposedly the design makes it so things stay nice and cool it's sort of made for you know um, to, to keep things to try to keep things cool down when you're really on pumping in some serious power so anyway let's go ahead and get this thing built and I'll be right back now I did go ahead and put one coil in because I just wanted to see what the ohm reading was and I'm getting about 0.3 ohms I did also want to state that there's the peak insulator down there around one of the posts and of course not the other so let me go ahead and get the other coil in. Okay, we went ahead and got the coils on to the build deck. And we're looking at 0.15 ohms. 0.15 ohms. One thing I'd like to point out, uh, wet the wicks because it'll help you get it down into the holes. This is the approximate length that you want your wicks so they could go through the holes and touch the bottom, which is... Uh, just my um, opinion where these should be it's subjective you could just have it where it just gets through the hole and stops there and doesn't go any further down I want to go ahead and have it go all the way down to the bottom of that juice well so I got things all coiled up and wicked up you can see how I got the wick down in there and it's through that build deck and touching the bottom barely and let's go ahead and see how well she Woo! okay we are definitely producing some serious vapor there so look looking good okay so what do we do next we gotta go ahead and put the buildable rebuildable deck back in and again it's keyed you have those two tabs you gotta line that up with the two tabs on the outside of each post. Go ahead and tuck that in there. 
And once it's lined up, you'll see how the chimney will move along with it. So it keeps all that air aligned, the airflow aligned with over the coils. The threads, not the smoothest in the world, keeping things honest here. They seem a little bit rough and then they smooth out as you continue to screw. But that very first half thread it feels a little rough to me, to be perfectly honest. Should not be... Uh, a huge factor as far as vaping ability. So what are we going to vape today? Well, I have some Johnson Creek Apple Lanch. Obviously apple. It's sweet and sour green apple. So let's go ahead and fill this up. How many milliliters go in here? I think I, I had mentioned it. 52 5.2 milliliters, so definitely a lot of capacity of this little 25 um, millimeter diameter unit. And you can see I'm already making a mess. Luckily, I am an experienced vapor who has lots of tissues always close at hand. So, filling her up, filling her up. Okay, uh, <laughs> filled her all up. Then we just go ahead and push down to seal things off and just have a tissue wipe things away but I like how it fills up because you just pull it pull it back you don't have to take anything apart now and there's no way for anything to leak out the bottom even if it sits for a long time unused because everything is on top I just love it when airflow and juice are being filled toward the top you just don't have any issues you know what I mean? I, I know some of you know what I mean. Like if you have a lot of tanks and a lot of um, things that you rotate and some get out of rotation for a while, then you go back to them and they inevitably leak. So I got this on top of my Wismic, again 25 millimeter and flush right there at the edge. It just barely fits. Does good. Put the palm drip tip bore guy. I think that's like an 8 millimeter bore up there but again you could put your own 510 drip tip up there if you like but let's go ahead and get topside and get to the most important part of this review and that is how well does it vape. So what am I vaping at here? Alright, um, 25 watts and ohms is 0.15 and that makes sense because when I measured one coil, it was 0.3. So you put two in, that cuts resistance in half. So 0.15. And it's equaling to 3.35 volts. So that's what we're vaping at. High power for me. I usually don't go up this high. And I probably will lower it after this review. But I want you to get the full onslaught experience of this guy. And some people probably even go higher. But... Uh, I'm not. Whew. Um, flavor's very intense. This uh, apple. Uh, yeah, 0.3% nicotine. 30 milliliters, by the way. Johnson Creek is awesome. Awesome flavor, awesome quality, uh, all the proper markings, so it's biting by all the crazy regulations. And I could taste every bit of flavoring they're putting into it. Um, and even though I'm running very hot, it's cooling it down pretty good, which is uh, quite impressive because I have some other tanks that I could run like this. But uh, it's a lot hot hotter. Now, I'm going to lower this down because there was a little bit of spitting. And some of that spitting was coming up. So I probably am running uh, too hotter than I should there. Alright, what's some other reviews and... Wow, I stopped. It's still... Um, I watched some other reviews and they said that it whistles a little bit. Not experiencing any whistling wide open. I'm going to lower this. What I would recommend if you want to run it super hot is to get one of those drip tips that um, are spit proof. Because I am getting some spinning. Probably because I'm running too hot. I'm going to lower this down to 60 watts which is 3 volts. Hmm. 
much better. Takes a little bit to get warm, so just blow while it's warming up and then start sucking after you're there. So give it a second of blow, then start inhaling. <coughs> it, it's higher than I usually run, so wow. That is a, a very 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 good vape it is up there with uh dripping atomizers it is pretty amazing now one of the things i always like to do is to close the airflow to the point where it is as tight as a cigarette so let me see if i could do that i'm basically closing off all this top flow airflow down to almost nothing and it it, it does shut down to a nice tight um, airflow if you want it, a very constrictive airflow is the technical um, term flavors more intense but I can tell you when you do get it down to that it's uh, hot it's very hot so definitely change out the tip the bore big bore is obviously for lung hits so if you want to go down for a mouth to lung hit, I would recommend a longer 510 drip tip and probably something with spit guard, spit protection because it's still, I'm still getting some spit right here. But an amazing tank, 5.2 milliliter capacity, everything's on top. It's everything that I like in a tank. Flavor is there, vapor production is there. It's everything that I look for. So therefore, I highly highly recommend this very good tank and right now it's selling for twenty dollars on gear best let's uh, get one more vape wide open before we put this video in the can wow amazing all right highly recommend it check the link below don't forget to like and subscribe uh, I can use the support on my little channel just uh, try to survive, trying to survive in the wonderful world of everything that I do here on YouTube. I don't stick to one thing, so I never get an enormous amount of traction in any one area that I review items. Because again, this is the Gear Obsession channel, and because it's my channel, I uh, review whatever happens to be my obsession at the time. And lucky for you, especially you vapors out there, I do like vaping, I enjoy it, and uh, we, we get to share in that experience. One more vape. Okay, I need to finish this up so I can get over this head rush. Alright, thank you very much for joining me here at the Gear Obsession channel. I really do appreciate every friend, viewer, subscriber, and especially you. And I hope you have a great day or evening wherever you are. Take care. Bye.